drain installation for ceiling cassettes. This demonstration will first be done correctly. Afterwards, we will show an example of an incorrect installation. First, connect the flexible drain connector to the drain port using the included hose clamps. Next, measure a maximum of 27 and a half inches from the bottom of the unit. Please note that all of the required vertical rise must be done at this point. Then, connect a 3 quarter inch, 90 degree PVC piping elbow to the ceiling cassette. Now, a PVC pipe can be connected. Going up from the 90 degree angle, it can be a maximum measurement of 27 and a half inches from the bottom of the unit. Once connected, the PVC can be oriented in any position necessary. Slope needs to be a minimum of one quarter inch per foot, but you should also check the local and national requirements for slope prior to installation. Be sure to also properly support the drain pipe. Pro tip, careful consideration should be given to insulating the drain line to prevent sweating. Now we will demonstrate a common but incorrect attempt to drain for ducted and ceiling cassettes. This method is not acceptable. The pipe must be installed vertically with a maximum rise of 27 and a half inches from the bottom of the unit. When the unit turns off or the cooling demand is satisfied, the pump will turn off. Excess water in the pipe will drain back into the unit and overflow the drain pan. This image shows an incorrect trap. There should not be any U traps or P traps in the drain line. Unlike a conventional system, note that this system does not have the capability to pull water or air back through the drain and therefore it does not need a trap. In fact, a trap will prevent water from draining as needed. For models that do not include a separate gravity drain port, it is permissible to install the drain directly from the unit at a downward angle.